Jesus says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So we thank God for uh, Jesus, who alone can give us rest, and uh, also for the rest that we have even today on his Holy Sabbath day. Communion is an opportunity for new beginning. Communion is a time when uh, we have a second chance, uh, a second chance to make our calling and election sure. Uh, as we go through the foot washing, a symbol of baptism, means we bury everything and then we take on the new life in Christ. So I pray that uh, you prepare your heart, you allow the spirit of the Lord to quicken your heart and to prepare you for today. Uh, you have gone through the foot washing uh, yesterday and that we are, like Jesus told the disciples, you are all clean in the name of the Lord. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 So that our communion with Jesus will not be in vain. Our foot is washed, which is a symbol of cleansing, total cleansing. Say, he who is washed, bathed, need not to be washed except his feet. And so the washing of the feet, the symbol of washing, baptism, symbol of baptism all over again, so that our sins are wiped out. And as we partake of the emblem of his body and blood, that we know that his redemption has taken effect in our lives and that uh, we are new, we are justified and sanctified and soon to be glorified in Jesus' name. Can somebody say amen? Amen. 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 That's why we are here today to celebrate communion with Jesus. And uh, our message uh, the title which you have in your bulletin in between the drinks 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 matthew 26 29 but i say unto you I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we present ourselves, we submit our hearts we yield our lives to you today as we commune with you. That your spirit will wash us, will sanctify us, make us clean and holy. May we be accepted in the beloved. And as we partake of your emblems, it will do it the redemptive work in our souls and get us ready for your coming. Help us to utilize the time we have today in between the drinks of the Last Supper and the next supper with you to utilize it for conversion, repentance, and transformation. So we'll be the people you have called us to be and we will never be left behind when you shall come. Thank you for this opportunity. In Jesus' name, amen. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Reading the first line of this text, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine henceforth. Give the sense of finality. I will drink no more 
of this fruit of the vine. It sounds like the party is over. You are put on edge. No more. It feels breathless. And then you see the word until. And then you breathe a sigh of relief. Until gives you hope. Until says it's not over yet. The last drink of the last supper with the Lord will not be the final drink after all. There will be another drink, a new drink in my Father's kingdom, says Jesus. So brethren, there is yet another drink to come, a new drink, and it will not be on this planet. The next drink will take place way up yonder. We are going to go through the sky, into the solar system, through countless stars, deep space, through Orion, across galaxies, through the first and the second to the third heaven, into our Father's house to have communion with Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, henceforth, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. Amen. So the Last Supper is not really the Last Supper. <laughs> I, 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 I wish you heard that. The Last Supper is really not the last supper for uh, the last supper is not the final supper there is going to be another supper a new supper the first supper with jesus in glory Amen. there are there are some things at the last supper on earth that will not be permitted to be at the first supper in glory. There are some things uh, that are uh, on earth, last supper on earth. There are some things at the last supper on earth that will not be there at the first supper in glory. At the last supper on earth, Sin was at the table. But at the first supper in glory, only righteousness will be at the table. Amen. At the Amen. last supper on earth, betrayal was at the table. Judas betrayed him with a kiss. But at the first supper in glory, only true friends will be at the table. At the, at the last supper on earth, selfishness was at the table. Nobody wanted to wash another, another's feet. Amen. True. But at the first supper in glory, only the meek shall inherit the kingdom of God. Oh, say amen out there. Amen. amen. At the last amen. supper, at the last supper on earth, denial was at the table. Peter denied him. I never knew the man, and all the rest, all the rest forsook him. Run away. But at the first supper in glory, only the righteous shall sit with Jesus at the welcome table. Can someone say amen? Amen. 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 At, the, at, the, at the last supper on earth, anger was at the table. Hatred was at the table. Grudge at the table. Unforgiving spirit at the table and unclean hearts were at the table. But at the first supper in glory, only the pure in heart shall see God. For without holiness, no one shall see God. Amen. 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 At the last supper on earth, God's people were unlike Christ in every way. But at the first supper in glory, 
God's children must be like Christ in every way. Can you can you can you say amen there? Amen. Amen. There were characteristics, characters, characteristics at the table of the last supper on earth that will not be permitted at the first supper in glory. Oh, we have a we have a, there's a problem right now. <laughs> There were characteristics at the table of the last supper on earth that will not be permitted at the first supper in glory. That pose a problem for God's people today. What does that mean to us? What does this mean to us that there are characteristics, there are characters that will not be permitted to be at the first supper in glory with Jesus? That has to mean something to us, and we need to know what it means. It means, it means, it means total conversion. It means total conversion for us if we want to be at the first supper with Jesus in glory. Am I? Am I? Am I? Am Amen. I? Am Amen. I making myself clear? Amen. It means. It means God's people. It means God's people need changes in their ways and their attitudes and in their lives before the first communion with Jesus in heaven. Am I, am I talking truth? Amen. 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 It means, it means an urgent need, urgent need for total transformation of our lives before the first supper in glory land. It means total conversion in Christ. Jesus told Peter, When thou art converted, strengthen the brethren. Amen. The brethren need to be converted before the first supper in glory. When thou art converted, strengthen the brethren. So all the brethren, all of you, all of us, by God's grace, we will be ready. We will be converted by the time Jesus comes to take us home for the first supper in glory. Total conversion is what is needed to be accomplished now before we sit at the welcome table with Jesus Christ. That means every communion is a rehearsal for, for the communion above. You didn't hear what I just said. Don't take communion for granted. There was a reason why God, Jesus gave communion to the church. Amen. Every communion. Oh, yes. Every communion is a rehearsal. That's why we go there and practice. But that's not, that's just the physical part. That, that, but, but it's a rehearsal of our lives, of our souls. It's a rehearsal uh, for, for, for the communion above. Communion is an audition. For those who want to sit and dine with Jesus in glory. Can somebody say amen? Amen. 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 And the times in between the two drinks gives us the opportunity for that transformation. In between the two drinks. What drinks are we talking about? The last supper on earth and the first supper in heaven. In between these two drinks is an opportunity for conversion, for transformation, for a change to take place. If you want to make it to the first supper in glory. In between the last drink on earth and the first drink in heaven is an opportunity for us to be converted into the image of Christ, to sit at the welcome table with Christ. Thank God for the time in between the two Amen. drinks. Praise the Lord. It Amen. Us Amen. the opportunity we need to put on Christ. You need a garment. You need clothing. You need robe of righteousness to sit at the welcome table, to sit to commune with Jesus, to sit at the first Supper with the Lamb. And in between the drinks gives us that opportunity to put on Christ and to be like Christ in every way so we can be ready for Christ's 
in glory. Amen. Amen. Great changes must take place in our lives before the first supper uh, uh, of the Lamb. And, 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 and the time is now. Amen. Amen. So far, what, what have we said? So far, we said we have said there was a last supper, and uh, there will be first supper. And the characters that sat at the last supper, the characteristics, there are some characteristics that will not be permitted in the first supper, and therefore there's a need for change, changes to take place now. Examine your heart. That's what Paul said. Everyone, examine your soul. Exam if there's a, any iniquity, any unrighteousness, any characteristic that will not be permitted at the first supper. This is the time. This is the time. This is the time to allow the Holy Spirit to bring that change, the transformation in our souls to get us ready before the first supper. We need to be like Christ, spiritually, morally, and physically, before that day of communion with him in glory. Oh, somebody said, oh, Lord, Pastor, what are you talking about? <laughs> Changes are needed now. And we need to be like Christ, spiritually, morally, and physically too, before we are able to sit with Christ at the first supper in glory. All right, let's Amen. let's take them one by one. Let's take them one by one. Spiritual and legal change must take place before we commune with Him in glory. Thank God, provision uh, 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 provision uh, was made or has been made. Spiritual provision is made. Uh, 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 provision was made for spiritual or legal change to take place for us at baptism. Provision is made for spiritual or legal change to take place at baptism. We call it justification we call it justification the bible says to them that receive him he gave them power to become sons of god amen at, at the at the at the point of acceptance of christ at the point of surrender to christ at the point of baptism into christ he gave them power to become sons of God. And 1 John 3, 1 says, Behold, behold. We're talking justification at uh, the point of surrender to Christ, accepting of, of uh, him as a Savior and Lord. Say, so Behold, 1 John 3, 1, what manner of love the Father have bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Ooh. Therefore, the world knows us not because it knew him not. Brethren, a spiritual change took place at baptism. If you believe it, say amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. Or up to take place at baptism, when we give our lives unto Jesus. He gave us power to become sons and daughters of God. And so, and so, and so John says, now we are sons and daughters of God by faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 After the spiritual change. So that is the spiritual change. Uh, 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 we, we change from Adamic nature into Christ nature. We become children of God. We belong to the family of God. 
We put on Christ when we accept him as our personal savior. But after the spiritual change, we're talking about three changes. Spiritual, moral, and, and another, another uh, physical, another change. So after the spiritual change, when we have given our life to Jesus Christ, moral change is expected to take place in our lives continuously before he comes. And that is called sanctification. Amen. Verse 3, 1 John uh, chapter 3, verse 3, same scripture. And every man that have this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Once you give your life to Jesus and expect him uh, to sit at the welcome table with him, to, to be taken to glory when he comes, you purify yourself. You, 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 you live a new life. That means the old man must die and the new man must live uh, um, the new man must live in Christ. That means old things must pass away and new things uh, take their place in your life. You are, you are not angry about things uh, the old man was mad about. Oh, do I hear you say amen? Amen. <laughs> amen, amen. 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 But you can't be in this church for donkey years. You cannot give your life to Jesus for donkey years and still be mad with the things the old man was mad at before. You are still mad with the things that you used to be mad when before you knew Christ? No, sir. Help us, Lord. It's quiet in the house. It's quiet in the house. It's quiet in the house. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about justification and yeah. sanctification. Yeah. The life of sanctification is different. It's new. Man. Amen. All things must pass away. Amen. The things you used to be mad about, you should no longer be mad. What are you mad about? Money? Money is going to be trodden on, uh, on the, uh, uh, thrown onto the ground and be trodden on the foot. Money, yeah. material things. Is that what is breaking your marriage? Is that what is breaking your family? Is that what is breaking your life? Money? Amen. Mm. Have mercy. Have mercy. Or, 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 or what? Or what? You are angry if somebody says something? Said something? That something that is said that will pass away? That is just fleeting? That is in the air? That will not, uh, 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 as a Christian, it doesn't, it doesn't, it, 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 it doesn't uh, uh, attach itself to your body? So when you walk on the street, people don't see that, oh, uh, they, they said something about, about him and, and, and it's all over him. No, sir. And you are mad and you are destroying your life. You are destroying your family. And you don't even want to come to church anymore. All things Preach must it. pass away. Preach it fast. The things Amen. you used Amen. to be mad about by the old man, you are no longer mad about because you are a new man. Amen. 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 Your heart Amen. is different. Your mind is different. Your your soul. You, you are you are a new creation. You're entangled with Christ. I'm going to tell it. I'm not about being popular. I'm called by God to preach Amen. his word, to prepare his Amen. people for the coming of the Lord. That's my duty. That's all I care about. Amen, Pastor. Amen. 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 That's what I was called. So I'll tell it. And those who are not comfortable, they love the old man, go to the old church. Those who want to grow in the new man, then stay here, and the Lord is going to sanctify you Amen. before He comes by the word. Amen. 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 <clears throat> the things, the things you 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 uh, uh, you are not you are not jealous about things the old man was jealous about. Now I think I think the metaphor we use the old man. I think in the minds of some people, 
it, it, it's just about men. So the women don't seem to take it to heart. So I'm going to use another metaphor. The things, the old woman. Amen, Pastor. Was jealous about the, the new woman. It's not jealous about anymore. You are no longer the old or the new woman is no long, longer jealous about the things the old woman used to be jealous about. You are a new amen. person in Christ. Can somebody say amen? Amen. 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 I mean, we are Christians and then a little something said and everybody is mad and everybody and, and they, we, we, what? We, we, we are still old and uh, old old men and old women and I'm talking the metaphor not physical age but 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 Adamic nature uh, that, 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 that that sinful nature is still dominating us he said he said how can we who are dead to sin still live in it how, how can that be that you are a new creation and then you live like the old creation have you really been born again? And are you preparing for the kingdom of heaven? Are you preparing to sit at the welcome table with Jesus? There are some characteristics that are not going up there. Amen. Man, man. You are a new creation. Your walk is new. Amen. Your diet is new. Amen. Your drink is new. Your thoughts are renewed. Your life is renewed in Jesus Christ. Great changes have taken place since you were born in Christ. Can somebody say amen? Amen. 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 So the Bible says, let everyone that names the name of Christ accept Jesus as their personal savior. That attaches the name of Jesus to him. Christian, let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. And that is living the sanctified life. That is growing in grace for those who have accepted Jesus as their Savior and Lord. Inspiration says, and you read it in your quarter today, duty becomes a delight. They don't run away when God's work is to be done. And sacrifice a pleasure, a new heart I will give you. Ah, and what it says, uh, sacrifice becomes a pleasure. He said, the path that before seemed shrouded in darkness becomes bright with beams from the sun of righteousness it says she says this is walking in the light as christ is in the light this is sanctification the life of sanctification this is living the sanctified life so so here changes are taking place the first change at the cross when we first saw the light when we gave our life to jesus when we submitted our souls to him, we were justified by the blood of Jesus. We became Christians. A change must take place if we are going to the first supper of the Lamb. And then another change continued called sanctification. Growing, growing in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Growing in grace. And growing in grace, you know something? You, 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 when you are growing, you need to eat. You, you need to you need to nourish your body. You, you cannot grow with, with, with no nourishment. And so you grow uh, in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior. So 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 you 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 grow by feasting on the word of God. That's why we do Bible studies. We are feasting, we are we are we are enriching our souls in Christ. Some people stay home, they stay home the whole time. Yes, stay home, stay home and 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 starve your soul starve your soul jesus said the man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that that comes out of the mouth of the lord 
Uh, so 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 you do Bible studies. That is the the the, the, the meal, the the food, the, the bread for the soul, and, and prayer. And prayer, you think they are joking when they come to pray? No, they're not joking. They are, they, are, they, are, they are building a relationship with their Father in heaven. They are, they are getting connected to God. They are drawing nigh to God. And God is drawing nigh unto them. They, they are able to talk to God and walk with God. And, and Oh my goodness. And they grow in Christ. Sanctification. Amen growing in christ and in the knowledge of our Amen. lord and savior jesus christ now look into yourself examine yourself you stay away too long from bible studies you you begin to you, you begin to talk some talk and they step on your toes and and instead of instead of instead of blessing coming from your mouth it's cursing coming out of your mouth you see 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 what's going on because you stayed too long, away too long from, from Bible studies to fix your mind with the word of God. So what comes out of, of your mouth will be seasoned with grace. And when they provoke you, instead of, instead of reacting, the Holy Spirit takes control of your mind, your heart, and what comes out of your mouth, oh, it's from Jesus Christ. Can someone say amen? We're talking sanctification. <laughs> amen. Oh, amen. I hope we are, I, hope, I, I, I wish we are in church so I can see each other's face. I, 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 I wish we can I can see each other's face and I, I, I can I can see uh, how we are receiving the word of God. So we're talking changes must take place. Spiritual change moral change and physical change spiritual change great change when we give our life to jesus we surrendered he says he says he says uh and he gave them power spiritual power to become you cannot become by yourself it's a supernatural power spiritual change must take place justification amen, amen. and then moral change sanctification growing in, in, in the in grace and in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. And you live a new life in Christ. Sanctification, but it's not over yet. We're talking three three changes. You got two already, two out of the way. It's not over yet. Those who go through both spiritual and moral change will also experience the physical change in order to sit at the welcome table. It's called glorification can somebody say amen 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 so we get three changes i'll ask you if we come to bible studies i'll ask you the three changes that might take place before we sit at the welcome table write it down i'm going to ask you and if you fail the test you're going to be demoted in the class for donkey years before we we, we bring you back up <laughs> <laughs> oh, justification sanctification and then there will be a physical change yes physical change glorification that is when immortality is bestowed upon the righteous hallelujah those who have received justification born again by christ will experience sanctification growing in christ and then be honored with glorification immortality by christ Let's look at the scripture again. Amen. Amen. Uh, the same scripture. Let's look at that scripture again. First John 3. Uh, and then now we look at verse 2. They're all there. First, first John 3. Verse 1, 2, 3. They're all there. Beloved, now we are the sons of God. Remember justification? We became sons of God when we gave our life to Jesus. So, so he's reminding us. Look at, look at the other three are there. Now we are the sons of God. And then you already said that those who have this hope purify themselves. And so that's that's what is to be done now. We have been sons of God from baptism, from accepting Christ. And, and then we, we need to purify ourselves now before he comes. And that's sanctification. But, but then he says, he's going to tell us about the glorification, the physical change. Beloved, now we are the sons of God. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be. We're talking physical. But we know that. 
when he shall appear oh at that time at that time we are about to go and sit uh, at the welcome table uh, and commune and eat bread with jesus when he shall appear we shall be like him or we shall see him as he is can somebody say amen 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 amen, amen. 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 Like, yeah, amen. Yeah. Yeah. We are physically, but the Buddha, I heard your voice. We are, we are physically going to be like Christ. We're going to be physically going to be changed. Amen. Brethren, your change is coming, sister, sister Bezier. I think I, I think I heard your voice. Your yes. physical amen. change is coming. Can you say amen, amen. Uh, sister Bezier? Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 We are going to be, uh, no, 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 we are not going to be like this with aches and pains and arthritis and blood pressure forever. No, sir. Oh, I, I want somebody to say amen to that. Amen. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going amen. to be like this forever. This physical body I have needs changing. I need overhauling. I need re-upholstery. I told my, my, my family yesterday and they were laughing at me. I need to be re-upholstery. Uh, what the hell they call it? Elder, Elder Stone knows it. So let Elder Stone tell, you, tell it correct. Re-upholstery. <laughs> Amen. I need a tune-up. Hey, hey, but a row. But a row. I need reconstruction. <laughs> I need a new building. This old building is doing it. I woke up. I, I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 I thought, I thought I was champion. You know, uh, in my, in my early age, I was champion. No, no pain. I didn't, feel, I didn't even go to hospital. No pain, no ache, nothing. And people complain about pain and say, hey, what, "What's going on?" I get a little older, a little older, a little, a little. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I, 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 and I'm thinking, hey, pain, does pain live in my body? And, and you know, it's like it, it, it moves. I, 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 today is on my knee and tomorrow on my back. And, and the same pain, you know, it's the same pain going all over the place. <laughs> pain has taken residence in my body. <laughs> Lord, have no mercy. This body of mine needs changing. And you have promised me at the coming of Jesus, as I see him, I shall be like you. Amen. 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 Our change is coming. Your change is coming. Claim it for yourself. Ah, uh, First Corinthians 15, 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. But we shall be changed yeah. in a moment, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the day shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Amen. 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 And then he goes on, verse 53. For this corruptible, this corrupt, this body of mine, this corruptible yes. must put on incorruption, yes. and 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 this mortal, this mortal, yes. uh, with pain traveling all over the body, this yes. mortal must put on immortality. Yes. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Praise the Lord. Amen. All this pain we are, we are, we are, we are, we are feeling, huh? sister, sister, whose name should I call? All this pain, <laughs> I, don't know, I ain't going to call no name. <laughs> <laughs> to be in trouble. <laughs> all, all this pain we are feeling is a harbinger of death. It's a messenger yeah. of death. It is yeah, it's, 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 it's a reminder that death, 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 death is behind. Death is coming. Death yeah. is coming. But, but but when we immortal mortal put on immortality, death Amen. swallowed up. No Thank more you, death. Jesus. No more pain. No more sickness. No more oh, sorrow. No more. 
No way. Amen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at look what happens. On that day, the mm -hmm. wicked shall see him. The same scene, the same sight. Watch this. On that day when Jesus comes, when we shall see him, we shall be like him. Yeah. Okay? But, 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 but look at what's going to happen. On the other hand, on that day, the wicked shall see him and be consumed by the brightness of his glory. Did you, did you see that? Did you see that? Mm -hmm. The same sight. We are all beholding the coming of the, the glory of the Lord. And, and somehow the wicked is consumed into ashes. And the righteous is transformed and, and to receive immortality. Yes. Oh, I want to be in that number. I want yes. to be in that number. Yes. I want to be in that number. Amen. 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 On that day when the Amen. wicked sees him and are consumed, the righteous see him and are transformed and they are honored with immortality, changed into his image. Yes. And be immortalized to be yes. with him forever and ever and ever and ever. She's a faithful forever. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Brethren. Brethren. Amen. Brethren, let us go to the process of justification and sanctification for your glorification is coming. Your change is coming. Your change is coming. Your change, and in, in case you don't understand the change, let me just try to give you an earthly example of how it will be like. Suppose nobody knows what a butterfly looks like. You know, you know imagine that you didn't know what a butterfly looks like. All you know is caterpillar. And somebody comes along to tell you how one day caterpillars will become butterflies with beautiful colors and complex decorations and fly up the sky and away. Wow. Caterpillar? <laughs> caterpillar becoming a butterfly? impossible and you don't understand no matter how he explains it caterpillars to become butterflies no 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 you don't understand it but now you know caterpillars become butterflies and we are the caterpillar now going through butterfly transformation Soon our change will be complete. When Jesus comes and we will put on wings and turn beautiful colors and fly away to glory. <laughs> our change is coming. Brethren, our change is coming. Beloved, <clears throat> now we are the sons of God. Uh-huh. It doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, oh, the butterfly, the caterpillar is going to be a butterfly. When he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Amen. But now, now, in between the drinks, between the last supper on earth and the first supper in glory. Everyone that have this hope in him must purify himself, even as he is pure. Become, Amen. Like, become like him. How do we do that? How do we do that? Let's answer that question and we'll be done. How do we do that? How do we become like him? How do we purify ourselves even as he is pure? How do we do that? Thank God for the blood. <laughs> Thank check God check. for the blood. Provision is made. Amen. Amen. For the butter, for the caterpillar to become butterfly. For the Amen. sinner to become a saint. For 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 
for us to be purified. Amen. Like him. Provision is made with the blood of the last supper of Jesus to change the caterpillar into a butterfly so we can fly away to sit at the first supper with Jesus in glory. Amen. Brethren, there's still power in the blood. Amen. Power in the blood to heal the sin sick soul. Would you be free from the burden of sin? Amen. Are you tired of the dominion of sin, of anger, and of malice, and of hatred? Do you want the change of your character and attitude to reflect the character of Jesus? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Do you want to be made whole? The blood that Jesus shed for me, the song says. Yes. For the first supper way back on Calvary. Oh, the blood that gives me strength. From day to day, it will never, ever lose its power. Amen. For it reaches to the highest mountain. And it flows to the lowest valley. The blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never, ever lose its power. Until the last sinner, until the last sinner who gives his life to Jesus is changed into the image of God. Amen. Amen. Then there is a fountain filled with blood. Amen. Drawn from Emmanuel's vein. Sinners plunge beneath its flood. Lose all their guilty stain. Let the blood of Jesus last supper do its work in your life today. In Amen. between the drinks. Before Amen. the next supper with the Lamb. That's what communion today between the drinks of the last supper on earth and the first supper in heaven is all about. Amen. It's an opportunity for change, opportunity for change, for repentance and transformation. The things we used Amen. to do, we must do them no more from no more. today. If Amen. you have not done it before and it didn't work before, today you have another chance to have Amen. Jesus to forgive you, to cleanse you, and give you power. Amen. Amen. And anoint you with his spirit. Supernatural power. Amen. To do what you would, the old man could not do. What the old man could not do. And that's what Romans chapter 8 is saying. What the old man could not do. God sending his son in the in the, uh, in, in, in the sinful, in the, in, 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 God sending his own son uh, uh, into the flesh to condemn sin in the flesh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Who walk not, we are no longer walking in the way of the old man. Who walk not in the flesh, old man, but in the spirit. Amen. Amen. It will be done. The Amen. change will take place in your life by the power of the Lord. Can somebody say amen? Amen. 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 So let the blood of the Lord... Let the blood of the Last Supper of Jesus transform you into Christ-likeness in between the drinks. Before the next drink, when Christ is glorified, sin is vaporized, death mm. is vandalized, saints are immortalized, and Satan is traumatized. Mm. All and all God's people are at home with the Lord never to part again. That's the song. Did I know they were going to sing that song? Mm. It's in my sermon. That is the song. Never to part again. Amen. Never more Amen. to part. Thank you, Jesus. The saints are at home with the Lord. They never parting again. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be with Jesus at the welcome table one of these days. Amen. Sit and talk with Jesus. <laughs> wear my long white robes eat and drink with Jesus mm. continue what are you going to do brother brother, brother Hines hey. Sister well, 
the half the height. What are you going to do with Jesus? I, I, I have to talk and ask him a lot of questions and ask a lot of questions about many other guys there, Moses and all those people there on the table. We're going to have a question. Brother Heinz, it's a song. It's a song. I want to know. It's a song, Brother Heinz. You're going to ask many questions. <laughs> Amen. Somebody else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. And the ribbon, what are you going to do with sing Jesus? Hallelujah. Go sing hallelujah. <laughs> Go singing hallelujah with Jesus. Uh, Amen. Sister, Amen. Sister Porter, what are you going to do with Jesus one of these days? Sister Porter. Oh, Sister Porter is not. Walk and talk. Walk and talk with him, Pastor. Walk, walk and talk, talk with Jesus one of these days. Oh, we're going up there. Uh, and that's tomorrow. What are you going to do with Jesus one of these days? Amen. <laughs> Sing and never get tired. Sing. Oh, I'm shouting already. <laughs> Sing and never get tired. I'm gonna call a young a young person. Uh, uh, Candy, what are you gonna do with Jesus one, one of these days? Walk the streets of gold. Walk the streets of gold with Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. But you know what? At the welcome table of the first supper with Jesus, all God's children are going to be like Jesus. Amen. Amen. I can hear the angels talking Amen. and wondering. Uh, the angels talking and wondering which of them is Jesus. We all like we all look like Jesus. Oh, that's the mystery of redemption. We go to we shall we shall be like him as we see him. We're going to be like him, like yeah. Jesus. And and, and, and and in my own sanctified imagination, I, I can I can I can hear the angels whispering, which of them is Jesus? <laughs> that's a compliment to humanity. Uh, Jesus <laughs> is like us, and we are like Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. 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 And brethren, we shall be like Jesus. That's future, but it begins now. That begins now. These are questions before I finish. What in your life needs purification? Thoughts, tongue, or taste? Do you need to shut the TV down, social media down, turn off the computer, suspend the social media, turn your eyes upon Jesus, meditate on the word of the Lord, be born again by water and by the spirit, and be washed in the blood of Jesus? Amen. Remember, Christ's likeness is the ideal to be reached. Don't go on eating communion and remaining the same. Time is short. Change, change. The time in between the drinks is getting shorter by the day. And some of us, instead of getting better, some of us are getting worse. We're going backwards to eat. Amen. It's time to reverse course. Repentance means change your direction. It's time to put on Christ. Somebody has insulted you. And so what? They, they insulted Christ. So what? Let them insult and go. Let them insult some more. Is that not what Jesus was saying? When they, when they slap you on the, on the right cheek, give the left. Let them insult and go. Your mind is in heaven. Your mind is not on the things of this earth. He says, set your affection on the things above. Amen. Not on the things below. Amen. Don't let the devil trick you and deceive you and take you out of the kingdom. After spending all your donkey years in the church serving the Lord and you allow some 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 little stuff in your heart to remain. And so Amen. you miss out on glory. No, sir. Of course, no, no, sir. Everyone that have this hope of setting at the next communion with Jesus in glory, purifies himself, even as he is pure. Amen. Let Amen. the blood of Jesus do its work in your soul from this communion until the first communion with Jesus in glory. Can somebody say amen? Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Oh, say somebody. Say amen, somebody. Say amen. amen. And amen. claim the, 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 the merit salvation upon amen. your soul. Amen. Amen. Not by might, oh, not by power, amen. but by his spirit. Claim the victory amen. today. Victory amen. for sin. Victory amen. over anger. Victory amen. over malice. Victory amen. over unforgiving spirit. Victory amen. over yeah. over yes. over bad relationship. Oh, no. Victory. Need the victory today yes. we are serving the adventists we are preparing for the coming of the lord we are not like any other church prosperity gospelers who are duping people for money our our goal is the coming is the, is the kingdom of god Amen. Amen. amen 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 glory to god oh yes Brethren, time is running short. Time is running short. Amen. And sometimes when we talk about time is running short, you you sometimes we think about, oh, either Jesus is coming, uh, you know, any time, like two, five years or whatever. But but don't look at it that way anymore. Because when Amen. you die today, your time is finished. Oh, she's right. Amen. Your time is finished. Jesus may come five years, but you die today and you are not ready. So time is running short. Do not mean the duration, the time the, when he is going to uh, come, and you are not ready, or you are ready. No, 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 no. No longer that. It's 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 now because your life can be cut short today, and you were not ready. Short pass. Preach, yeah. preach. Have mercy. Amen. Help us, Amen. 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 Yes. Communion is an opportunity. Amen. To get it right. Again, whatever you might have done in your life, whatever has gone wrong in your life, your soul, your family, your relationship with your children, your husband, your wife, your church, today all can be reversed. All sins can be wiped out. Wiped Amen. out clean. You're a new creation again. Amen. 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 All Lord. things before then pass away and everything in your life becomes new in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, in grace and in the knowledge of our Savior and Jesus Christ. Amen. That's an opportunity for everyone. Brethren, I'm going to make an appeal because communion should not be taken for granted. It's a special time when God's people can make their calling and election and sure those who have been in the church for donkey years, they still want, to, they still need some, all of us, we still need to recommit our lives, to surrender our lives, to make our calling and election sure that we will not be lost ones. Once we have preached the gospel or, or uh, presented the gospel to somebody, that we will be cast out. No, sir. Sure. sure. No, sir. So I'm going to make an appeal. I'm going to make an appeal. Brethren, God is real. God is real. We, you know, remember we talking about we were talking about fasting and prayer. We have prayer coming up, all night prayer coming up. Oh, now mm -hmm. I need to. I don't know if I told uh, uh, Dear Park, but I can do it now. Dear Park, we have all night <laughs> prayer and fasting coming up tonight from ten o'clock to uh, six a.m. And uh, you're welcome to join. And, and, it, and it's good for the soul. And we just did fa three day fasting, three day fasting from Wednesday to Friday. Uh, and uh, we prayed and small group came, small group came. And it was just refreshing. And it was intimate and refreshing and beautiful. And, and, and you know something? We, we, there was, we had a spiritual encounter with the Lord. There was a spiritual renewal. And we were refreshed. We were those who came, they will testify, call them. We refresh in the Lord. Lord answers pray, answered prayers. And we felt the Lord, the presence of the Lord with us. And, and not only that, not and you know, we, we pray for the church. We pray for one another. We, we, and we, we had opportunity of even hearing intimate situations that we can pray for. People who are in need. They, are, they, they have needs that in that setting we can call on the Lord on their behalf. And we did that by God's grace. And, and, and so that was a spiritual renewal took place. And, and there was a physical reset. And, and because I told you, it's not only spiritual, it's part of it, we did it. 
the Lord blessed it. And there was a physical reset for me. I started the fasting. Three days fasting. I started it uh, weighing 185.7 pounds. And then I weighed myself today. And I weigh 180.3. That's a physical reset. And I feel better. Feel better. So spiritually healed. Physically amen. healed. I am I am rejoicing in the Lord. Can somebody say amen? Amen. amen. That's what, amen. That's what amen. the Lord has to do for his children. If we do it right, God is going to bless you. He's going to heal you. He's going to reset your life, your body, your mind, your soul. Reset. Things are going to, what, what, to default. Reset. And then you carry it on again. That's what God has promised us. As we serve him faithfully, he will do Amen. it for you. He's done it for others. He will do it again. I'm going to make an appeal and then we'll be done. Brethren, you know yourselves. Paul says, examine yourselves. And the prayer is, and the song says, nothing between me or the soul and the Savior. Examine yourself. If there's something there, only you will know that you need Jesus to wipe it with the blood of Jesus. As we're going to drink the emblem of his blood and uh, his broken body, that there will be a spiritual renewal and physical reset. Our minds renewed, our souls renewed, great changes taking place. And we, 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 we die to sin and we walk in the newness of life in sanctification. And all can take place. Justification, sanctification taking place even now. And then waiting for the glorification that is soon to come. If that's your desire. If that's your desire. If that's your desire. Indicate it somehow. It can be by voice, by hand, or by electronic. Let Jesus see it. And let us pray. Oh, I'm going to ask somebody to pray this prayer. Who is going to pray this prayer? I'm going to pray this prayer. Let's just pray. Righteous Father, may honor be to your name for the provision you have made to save your children. You've made all the provision. All we need, and you have told us everything. All we need to know to be ready for your coming. And you tell us that those who have this hope in you, that you are coming to take us home, we purify ourselves because we're not going to go there unprepared, unpurified, defiled, unsanctified. We're going to go up there sanctified, cleansed, washed, purified, righteous, holy, anointed, sealed for glory. We can do it for ourselves, but you have promised to do it with the blood of Jesus. And today we are partaking the emblems of your body and blood. May the blood of Jesus, oh Lord, may the power in the blood do its work in our lives, our souls, our minds, our bodies today. May we feel the redemption that comes from Christ, our Savior. May we be changed by the power of His Spirit, transformed by the renewing of our minds. Great change since we were born. May today be a beginning, a new beginning in Christ for all of us as we rise up to walk in the newness of life. The things we used to do, no more. The anger of the old man, gone. The jealousy of the old woman, gone. The pride, dead. New creation in Christ. To make our calling and election sure today by your grace. So when you shall come, our lives will not have been in vain. Our coming to church will not have been in vain. And we shall go with you to heaven 
to be with you. Oh, and to commune with you at the welcome table for the first supper in glory. I want to be there. They want to be there. It's their desire. Lord, make it happen. Let nothing today with this communion, nothing between the soul and the Savior. It's my prayer on behalf of your church. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Would you be free from your burden of sin? There is power in the blood. Power in the blood. Oh, oh yes. Oh, 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 yes